Yeah, and that's uh, pretty much everything you need to know about Game of Honor. Why is there Christmas stuff everywhere? Hey guys! Hey Manny, do you know anything about this? Yeah, I did this! I made it Christmas! Look, come here! See, look! Look at what I did! Manny, it's... It's like, it's June. Beautiful! That's what I call it. See, my mom doesn't celebrate Christmas, so I thought I'd bring Christmas to you guys! Look at these little stockings. Welcome back from the break. We're back with another show of Game of Honor. With me, I have Skulls, and uh, I'm Admiral Black. And right now, we have Mason King, who's gonna be doing a challenge mode in Cuphead. So let's go ahead and welcome Mason to the arena. All right, here comes Mason King. He lost his title. He lost his rematch. He's been on a bit of a losing streak. And as we can see, the wounds are still pretty fresh. Yeah, he can tell that he's frustrated, but hopefully he does not let his emotion get to him and he does well in this challenge mode tonight. So here we have Mason King playing a game of Cuphead. Challenge mode, we've seen this before. He's going against Dr. Carl and okay. his robot. Um, before we really get into it, Admiral, I, I do have to bring up a question. What's up with all the Christmas stuff? Oh yeah, so uh, Manny's family doesn't celebrate Christmas, so he decided to decorate the entire arena and the entire backstage uh, area with Christmas decorations. So hmm. I know it's like summertime, but yeah. we, the, the show must go on. Fair enough. <clears throat> anyway, getting back into this. Uh, Cuphead, I mean, besides being known for its animation, known for its difficulty and its crazy uh, bullet hell-like boss fights. Mm -hmm. so, and you can see it here. Like, oh yeah. To play this game, you have to have so much focus Absolutely. as he proceeds to the next phase of this boss fight, by the way. So yeah, making quick work here. Looks like uh, I think coming up next is going to be Dr. Carl himself. Okay. So what we saw before was the robot he created, and now we're going to see the actual mad scientist himself is what Mason's going against. But okay. to continue back with what you're saying, I know it has to be so difficult to play this game. I mean, look at look at how much yeah, he's there, shooting there, at there's you. There's a lot going on. You got to focus on the obstacles. Those pink projectiles you can actually like like dodge for mm -hmm. the most part with a uh, properly timed button press. Mm -hmm. And and it's, it's even though Mason is one of the most skilled players here on Game of Honor, it looks like he's still taking somewhat damage. I mean, I think any of our players would challenge with this, no matter how skilled they are. This mm -hmm. is just a tough game. It is. It is a tough game. Uh, personally, I've never played Cuphead myself, but seeing this game in action, seeing the level of skill that you have to have to do these boss fights, mm -hmm. I don't think it's something that I can do myself. No, it's, it's definitely one that takes a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he's, he's, get, he's getting in a groove, though. He's dodging those pink projectiles. He's going around the barriers as he throws them out. Um, mm -hmm. And he's doing damage with that missile, so... I would expect nothing less from a former world champion here Absolutely. in Game of Honor. <clears throat> now, I see he's shooting those big missiles. That seems yes. to be doing a lot of damage as it goes through. Uh, there's the knockout. That's, that's it. Mason wins. Uh, Mason won this challenge mode. He's winning 30 points of experience here. And I have to say, that looks so difficult. You know what? But Mason comes through with his normal style of cool, calm, collected. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought he was going to be a little emotional walking into the arena, mm -hmm. but he got it together. He did this challenge mode, and he managed to get an A+. Like I said, wow. you can't expect anything less 
from a Game of Honor, a former Game of Honor world champion. Absolutely. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we're going to be right back with more Game of Honor. Up next, we have the Brad versus Big Dad. Which celebrity would I like to see in Game of Honor? I think Americans call it Hometown Bride or something like that, and that's why I would say Christoph Waltz or Daniel Brühl. I think it'd be fun to have Tom Hiddleston on the show. He looks kind of like Scherbler. Kind of hard to tell him apart. I don't know, he's, just, he's a fun actor, he's a fun guy. Um, it'd be interesting to see him on the show. My first instinct hearing that question is just Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because that'd be cool. I hear he's nice. He's been in a lot of movies, and I've seen some of them. Yeah. I feel like we should have a celebrity like Will Smith to add, you know, that sense of color. I'm tired of being that only guy here. Hi, Mason. You How's it going? You see me? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, take a seat. So next week, uh, I wanted to give you the day off, basically. You've been working hard, you know, you've had a couple matches, and I, I think it's time that, you know, you take some time and you get yourself together and, you know, you just relax a little bit. Hmm. You know what, you always manage to surprise me because every time I think you aren't capable of an intelligent thought, you have one. It's about time. I've been carrying this channel on my back. I am the longest reigning Game of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. I am responsible for all the views for this stupid place getting to where they are. So, kudos. This is not how you dispose of your pizza boxes! God damn build your ass! Admiral said you were the janitor for the week! Welcome back. For the second match of the night, we have a title match for the Game of Honor Internet Championship. The Brad will be defending his championship against Big Dad. So let's go ahead and call our first competitor to the arena, Big Dad. All right, here comes Big Dad. One of the newest additions to Game of Honor, a Game of Honor junior. He won 40 points of experience from his loot box that he did. Uh, and honestly, I'm happy to see him a part of the show. He brings a very positive energy. And uh, he's gonna be going against the Brad. So let's go ahead and call our Game of Honor internet champion to the arena, Brad. So Brad has been on fire. He has successfully defending his title time and time again. And I wonder if tonight will be no different. Uh, so I'm excited to see what Big Dad's gonna bring to the table and how well Brad's gonna do tonight. So let's go ahead and get this match started. The Brad versus Big Dad. All right, so we're coming in with a game of Marvel versus Capcom 3. Brad has played this game before. Brad has experience in this game, and he's coming in strong with one of his mains being Spider-Man. Starting off with that special move, doing a bunch of damage to Beautiful Joe. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Beautiful Joe known to be a very stylish character in general, uh, using a lot of the special moves there. Mm -hmm. But Spider-Man, I mean, what's not to love about Spider-Man? The way he zips around the, the arena, he has high mobility, speed, and the way Brad util utilizes him, I think, Absolutely. is very nice in this game. Personally, Admiral, Spider-Man's one of my favorite heroes anyway. I just, oh, I, I love Spider-Man. But he goes down to Beautiful Joe as Doctor Strange swaps in and Beautiful Joe hits him with that special right away. So I do want to point out, it seems to me like Beautiful Joe has a bit of an advantage simply because of how tall Doctor Strange is. Yes. A lot of his attacks just seems to be going right over his uh, head. You say that, but the, down he goes and they switch out Doctor Strange. 
Doctor Strange coming in with those magical attacks, mm-hmm. getting hit with a special though. Mm-hmm. And he's done. He's Not done. his day. The, Didn't the have specials. much health left, so no. coming in with Virgil. Very strong, very strong. Very strong, very fast character. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely with those dashes and mobility, he has a very strong uh, competitive edge. And What's, uh, what is this? What? Okay, uh, Heather White has just walked into the arena and taken Big, Big Dad's controller. Uh, f- Guess that makes it a n- no contest? If, uh, yeah, it has to be. With no controller, we cannot continue this game. So I guess, Brad, you successfully retain your Game of Honor Internet Championship. So. All right, well, we're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back with our main event, where we have Toxic versus Adrian Von Tesla. Yo, listen, I uh, I got one celebrity I like all the time. He's my man. You ever heard Idris Elba? He's, look, you he want sexiest man 2018? And I, I ain't say nothing but like, he a good looking dude. If he was here on Game of Honor, he'd probably replace Chad, by the way. He's, he's a good looking man. I would pick Sandra Bullock in Practical Magic because she's a witch and I'm a witch and I feel like we have a bonds. You know what I mean? If I could pick a celebrity to be in Game of Honor, it would be Kenny Omega. Who better to humiliate him than me? Alright, you see this roster? These are all the people I brought in so far this season. Yeah, you've been doing an amazing job as a recruiter. Thank you, I'm glad you said that, because I need a raise. Hey, hey, man. I just, I I have a question. How does the pre-order bonus work again? Man, it's like the fifth time I told you. You get to replace a player in a championship match. You can't replace the champion, but you can replace the other player. And if you win, you may walk away with their title. Now, I want you to say that again, but in a nicer way. Don't destroy it. Okay, exactly. so there's a champion, mm-hmm. and there's a non-champion. Mm-hmm. You can replace the non-champion and put yourself into the match. Thank you. Swap. Cool. It's like a swap, but you didn't flip it. Okay. That raise, though. All right, guys. That was a good game. Uh, I'm going to get something to eat, though, so I'm going to step out for a moment. All right. Let's see. We've got some orange aid here. Definitely got some of that pizza. In the... Okay, I know I'm not crazy. I saw something that time. Definitely. Oh. What in the world? Okay. All right. I need to find Nathan. Thank you. Thank you. Nathan. I'm not talking to you. Come on. I'm, I know you've been trying to. I have me. not listened to me. All right, Street Fighter Five, Adrian versus Toxic. Adrian is playing as Seth, Toxic is playing as Cody. Definitely a great competitive game to uh, really test skills at. I mean, you need a lot of aggression, but also a lot of strategy to read the opponent's moves and uh, figure out how you're going to approach the next step. Mm-hmm. Well, Toxic, I-, I noticed that Toxic's been playing a lot of fighting games lately. And, oh, there we go. Looks like uh, Toxic dominated that first round. Uh, Seth barely got any hits there, which is, of course, Adrian. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they're going into their second round. So... Like I was saying beforehand, uh, it seems like Toxic's been playing a lot of fighting games, and he seems to excel at them very well. He came in being strong with Pokemon, but you can tell that he adapted well, and, you know, it really shows here in the arena tonight. I mean, that's how you get the title in Game of Honor, isn't it? Mm Mm-hmm. You know, you get a bit of everything. 
All right, so it looks like Seth has a little bit of an advantage on Cody right now. Adrian is winning. And it uh, looks like he learned from his first match. And I have to say, for him to be doing this well against our world champion as a junior is absolutely, impressive. Absolutely. Kind of gives me um, a bit of a reminder of when Toxic came in when he was a junior and, and you know how strong he came in as well. But these two are neck and neck right now. Both of them have one victory each. And I have to say that right now, confirmed for final stage, we have Princeton's going to be in the main event. Oh, boy. If Adrian beats Toxic, it may very well be Adrian versus Princeton at final stage. I mean, that would be quite the match to see. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like uh, oh, their healths are almost around the same level right now. Who's going to walk out of here? Our champion. Really close. Oh. And it's Toxic. Toxic wins. Toxic successfully retains his Game of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. I think it's fair to say fight. Adrian was giving him a run there in the uh, second match. So. He was. He was. I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, but again, Adrian is a Game of Honor junior. Toxic has that experience, that veteran experience. Toxic is a champion, a world champion at the moment at that. And I have to say, I mean, even though Adrian put up an amazing match, Toxic pulled through. So that is our main event, guys. That concludes our show. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next week with more Game of Honor. Which celebrity would I like to see here? I don't know. I think that Jack Sparrow fellow was kind of fun. And, you know, certainly be an upgrade over Thin Willie. At least when he doesn't get the job done, he still would be comedic relief. So, sure. Chucky Chan. Well, the celebrity I would pick is Soulja Boy because I want him to come here and face me. Hello, Heather. Sit here. So, you walking in during Brad and Big Dad's match is unacceptable. We can't have behavior like that in Game of Honor. Uh, you interrupted the match, you interrupted a title match at that, and I mean, you almost, almost ruined the show for the night. So, I'm gonna have to suspend you from next week's show. Suck. Oh, what is wrong with you? I just, I, okay. I keep seeing this thing, all right? It's just, it's just there and nobody else ever sees it. Nathan's has not seen it once. What, with the white face? Yes. Okay, so I saw the exact same thing. I told Rose, I told Blackburn, I even told Mason, and nobody will believe so me. So hang on, you see it too? Yes, and it just disappeared. Yeah, it, it, every time I see it. There you are. Revivicus. What? What? Did you do something again? No, um, Heather was just looking for her sunglasses. Oh, and you should do something about this. Your face. What? What's wrong with my face? What the hell was that? What's with the camera? Uh, just, just ignore that. Ignore that. So okay. uh, I had some important information. <clears throat> All right. That I need to give you. Finally getting that damn race that I deserve. Uh, yeah, honor Cup winner. I think I deserve a race. Yes, it actually is about the Honor Cup. Oh. I'm going to have you defend your Honor Cup contract against two people in a call match. Okay. Yeah, I'll just team up with Blackbird. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay. So uh, Blackbird's actually going to be busy. He's doing hard labor with Kunai as a punishment for uh, pulling out his weapon, so he will not be available to help you in your call match. Okay, uh, does this work? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mason King. <laughs> well, uh, Mason's actually going to be on vacation that day, so he will not be available to help you either. He's on vacation. Yeah, gave him the day off. He's been working pretty of course, hard. Of course he gave him the, the day off. Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll team up with Rose. Actually, I was thinking about giving Rose a match that night. Of course you are. So, uh, yeah, good luck finding a call partner, and uh, just let me know how you do. Okay. All right, buddy. I see how it is. <laughs>